Hi everybody, I'm Steve and I'm here in Arizona, almost at the Grand Canyon, about uh, 30 miles away. I'd heard about this, it's called Bedrock City and I knew it was here, at least I knew it used to be here, I wasn't sure if it was still here, but I just met and spoke with the new owner and she says that uh, they're removing all of the Flintstone memorabilia, all of the, they're, they're keeping the buildings, but they're uh, changing the name of the park and getting rid of everything having to do with Flintstones. It's been 50 years, I guess, since the park originally opened. She says that uh, these days, most people who RV don't even remember or know who the Flintstones were. Thanks for joining me on another trip to visit the most memorable cemeteries, memorials, and grave sites. So I'm really glad that I got here when I did because this is probably only going to be here for maybe another couple days, couple weeks, maybe a month. I don't know. They're they're painting the buildings. They're getting ready to put on the new signage, and uh, I'm guessing they're going to remove this old uh, signage. For any of you uh, Flintstones fans, and have any of you stayed here? So I'm going to head on to the Grand Canyon. But since you're here to see grave sites, I'll save my Grand Canyon visit for another time in another video. Today I'm just going to share with you my visits to the final resting places of the voice actors who played Barney and Betty Rubble, Wilma and Fred Flintstone, and a few other cast and creator grave sites. If you're a baby boomer like me, then you probably also spent your childhood growing up watching Hanna-Barbera cartoons. For more than 60 years, they created some of the most popular cartoon TV series in animation history. Their most popular series was The Flintstones, which first aired in 1960. Joseph Barbera died December 18, 2006, at the age of 95 in Los Angeles. He's laid to rest within the Great Mausoleum at Forest Lawn in Glendale, California. As you can see, it's a pretty impressive mausoleum. This is where singer Michael Jackson is also interred, and unfortunately, it's not open to the public. Around 50 miles south of Glendale is the city of Lake Forest in Orange County, California, where William Hanna is laid to rest. Bill Hanna died in North Hollywood on March 22, 2001, at the age of 90. He was laid to rest in the ground at Ascension Cemetery in Lake Forest. And not far away here in the same cemetery is the gravesite of voice actress Jean Vanderpil, who was the voice of both Wilma and Pebbles. I'm guessing that they must have been very good friends in real life and chose to be buried here in the same cemetery. Either that or this is one very big coincidence. But even stranger is the fact that the final resting place of Nicole Brown Simpson is just a few yards away from Hannah's grave. Simpson was the former wife of famous football player and actor O.J. Simpson. She was murdered June 12, 1994 at the age of 35. O.J. was charged with the murder but later acquitted in one of the most televised and controversial trials of the century. Ronald Goldman was also killed along with Simpson, and you can search my channel if you'd like to watch my visit to his gravesite. It's hard to believe that it's been 25 years now since their murders. So now I'm gonna head over to Jean Vanderpeel's gravesite. I'm not sure if she pronounced her last name Vanderpeel or Vanderpile, but before I head over there, I'll pan around so you can see a little bit more of where William Hanna's final resting place is located. Looking straight ahead, just to the left of the mausoleum building that you see is the gravesite of William Hanna, and not far from his grave, I just showed you, is also the gravesite of Nicole Brown Simpson. And to the right here, and up the hill just a little bit, is the final resting place a voice actress, Jean Vanderpil, who I mentioned earlier, was the voice of Wilma Flintstone and also Pebbles Flintstone. The building you see there straight ahead is the office, and just on the other side is the front gate where you enter. Vanderpil died at the age of 79 on April 10th, 1999 in Dana Point, which is along the coast, not very far from here. Vanderpeel appeared as a voice actress on more than a dozen very successful cartoon TV shows, but she'll always best be remembered for playing Wilma Flintstone, who she voiced from 1960 until the 1990s. It's really fun to see that Wilma is here with Jean on her gravestone. I'll zoom in a little bit closer so you can see the etching of Wilma a little bit better. Jean was obviously very proud of her cartoon alter ego. 
So who was your favorite Flintstones character? Fred, Barney, Wilma, Betty, or one of the other characters? Now I'm going to head back up north to North Hollywood, which is about 60 miles away. Depending on traffic, it could take two to three hours or more to get there. I'm here to visit the final resting place of Betty Rubble. Well, actually, the actress who voiced Betty Rubble, B. Benaderet. She's interred here at a crypt at Valhalla Cemetery here in North Hollywood, California. And it's very easy to find. It's just inside the front gate to your left. And you'll see the outdoor mausoleums, and she's in the one called Hope. You may also remember she played Kate on the very popular long-running sitcom, Petticoat Junction. So B. Benaderet is laid to rest here in a crypt in the Hope section, outdoor mausoleum. The name is Twombly, that's her husband's name, but you also see her name there, B. Benaderet. She's laid to rest uh, with her husband. Benaderet was the voice of Betty Rubble from 1960 to 1964 and appeared in 112 episodes. Voice actor Jerry Johnson took over the role from 1964 to 1966 and appeared in 52 episodes. Johnson died on January 24, 1990 at the age of 71 and sadly the whereabouts of her final resting place is unknown at this time. If any of you watching happen to know where she's laid to rest, please let us know in the comment section below. Benadera died on October 13, 1968 at the age of 62 in Los Angeles from lung cancer and pneumonia. Now I'm going to head south over the Hollywood Hills to Hollywood Forever Cemetery. This is where the legendary voice actor Mel Blanc, or Mel Blanc, is laid to rest. He voiced the character of Barney Rubble and also Dino from 1960 to 1966. His gravesite is one of the easier ones to find. You just drive through the front gates and pass the first two streets and you'll see his headstone on the left hand side fairly close to the curb. Blank died at Cedar sinai Hospital in Los Angeles from coronary artery disease on July 10, 1989, at the age of 81. Now, according to his Wikipedia page, voice actor Dawes Butler also voiced Barney Rubble from 1959 to 1961, so there seems to be a little bit of overlap there. Butler also voiced the very first Fred Flintstone in the 1959 pilot. Butler is laid to rest not far from Blank at Holy Cross Cemetery in Culver City. You may also remember Butler as the voice of Wally Gator, Yogi Bear, Elroy Jetson, Quick Draw McGraw, Snagglepuss, and Huckleberry Hound, among many others. Butler died in Culver City, California from a heart attack on May 18, 1988 at the age of 71. When the series was picked up in 1960, voice actor Alan Reed became the voice of Fred Flintstone in 166 episodes from 1960 to 1966 and in later specials. Reed died in Los Angeles on June 14, 1977 from a heart attack at the age of 69. According to his Find a Grave memorial page, his body was donated to the Loma Linda Medical Center in Southern California for medical research. I just happened to have these photos because I went to Loma Linda Hospital a few years ago for a treatment. It happens to be just about 45 minutes away from where I live. I didn't know at the time that Alan Reed had donated his body to science and research here. I have a good friend who's donating his body to science when the time comes. Are any of you planning to do the same? Following Reed's death in 1977, voice actor Henry Corden took over the role of Fred Flintstone in later series and specials. And during the original run of the Flintstones, from 1964 to 1966, Corden voiced Baron Von Rickenrock and a number of other characters on the show. To find this crypt, you come in through the gates and drive straight back until you see the outdoor mausoleums here on the right. Then continue driving to the very last one on the right-hand side, and you'll find Corden's final resting place in Mausoleum B, 125, row or column 1. Well, here I am at San Fernando Mission Cemetery in Mission Hills, California, at the grave site of Henry Corden, who was the voice actor who played Fred Flintstone for two decades. It took me 
nearly an hour to find him. So his crypt is located all the way, I don't know, maybe you can get a little better idea here. This is the end of the crypts. There must be 20 or 30 outdoor mausoleums. It was very difficult to find this, uh, this, this grave site or this, uh, this crypt. But I kept looking and I, I knew eventually I would find it. And I did on a GPS. So if you're planning to visit yourself in the future, it'd be much easier. I added the GPS to the Find a Grave Memorial page that he has. During his long career, Corden appeared in or voiced nearly 50 movies and more than 100 TV shows. Corden died in Sherman Oaks, California on May 19, 2005 from emphysema. So was Fred Flintstone your favorite character on the show? A while back, I shared with you my future final resting place, and I invited all of you to share yours on this channel as well. Kathy Urbonus sent me this photo of her late husband's urn, and when the time comes, she plans to be cremated as well, and the urn is large enough to hold both of their ashes, so they'll be together once again. Right now, the urn is in her living room, but she says that once she's gone, she'll leave it up to her family to decide where they want to place the urn. She says she doesn't really care where they place the urn, as long as they're together. And as you can see, they had nicknames for each other, Mr. Wizard and Super Turtle. It sounds to me like Kathy and her husband might have just been cartoon fans. What do you think? So if you liked today's video, you might also enjoy watching the videos here. And if you'd like to be notified when I upload future videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. So thanks for sharing the memories, everyone.